present day. I see that, yeah. <laughs> so far, not pausing. That's good. Bus driver getting a little snack. Midnight snack. know what this one's about besides like the little trailer that we saw at the end of the last one but I didn't really see anything about this uh, it's about some students and their professor who gets stuck in a town called Little Hope and the town's surrounded by fog that's impenetrable and some sort of black black magic afoot uh -huh. a Silent Hill-esque type situation I think I like the Silent Hill Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Mm-hmm. I don't see an accident. Yeah, where's the accident there, Mr. Policeman? So why did the music get all creepy when you got on my bus? Yeah. Why did they go dun-dun when you said Little Hope? <laughs> that chip any harder it'll wear away to nothing right how long have you been sober days shy of three months impressive i heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest i know it doesn't add up but i get something from holding on to this mm -hmm. going the wrong way it's fine just a quick detour it's not fine calm down Oh, okay. oh, did you not see the fucking cop that got on the road? Keep it down, please. Oh, Jesus. I got scared. Caused an accident. Yeah. Oh. James, you know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. <laughs> Never is. They'll Get up my back. Some of us but... may be losing our jobs. The factory. You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. Don't worry too much about that kid. Really I can't right. deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. 
when would be the right time? You're making a mountain out Tell of me a, a priest hill. held your daughter after uh -oh. class, and you're concerned that Single the daughter did something wrong? <laughs> Typical small town book. America. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how top You're not the only me. one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. I'm worried about the well-being of our child. That's why I'm screaming at you through our paper fin walls. Yeah. Everything's fine, sweetheart. Go back to bed. Not tonight. No way. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Great time. And I really enjoyed the ride. At least one of us is out having a good pictures. time. Always have her a break. You a it's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. You're fine. All that new age bullshit. Me? <laughs> <laughs> What are we talking about? I gotta get away from here and my wonderful family, like right now. Come on. I have a feeling uh, mommy and daddy aren't okay with the color of you your boyfriend's skin. Oh boy. Let me check my diary, see if I've got room. Girls like me are in demand. No doubt. I'll swing by around eight tomorrow. Locked on. If, if I, I hit my push, push to talk, talk while I try to thick and pick a thing, it doesn't let you. Damn ice. <laughs> Number one down. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? What was I right about? Guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. Heard that so many times they sound like a broken record. Same thing again and again. Your head is still out with your new boyfriend. I don't even know why I bother talking with you. <sighs> Get over yourself. Nothing new here. They've been arguing since we were in diapers. Well, you were in diapers. I was better trained. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> How many fucking kids does this lady have? <laughs> Like a foster home. A marine sergeant of past life. She said they didn't have any kids of their it's own. Right. Just Dennis doing what he's good at, being really Dennis. What a surprise! Hey, Dennis. Hey. Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Jesus! You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Huh. Now, Megan, I'd like to have a bath. I don't like piece. it when you talk about me. Take a break mommy. from this madhouse for a while. Mommy, I put the toaster next to the bathtub just like you asked. Oh. Oh, she's pissed. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Oh, she's got the key. Oh, yeah, clench that fist. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. 
I yeah, can't I'm, I'm the guy you're talking there's to. There's definitely right something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps getting gotcha. her. Okay, I, was I thought you were. I was talking to the boyfriend yeah. in the car. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her. If you don't have other plans, I'll go find her. I didn't mean for that option to come off that route, but okay. I'm just upstairs looking for a creepy child, no problem. Hanging out with good old dad. Is he gonna hey, give Mom? you your first beer? You there? Oh, Jesus. No. Shit's getting ominous up here already. I'm trying to sneak past sleeping dad. Truly terrifying. Dennis? Don't have... You still up there? What do you want? Somebody lives in the attic. Just want to know how my sweet brother is doing. Not so good. Bigfoot clumsy ass stomped all over my records. She's your baby sister. Anyways, looks like she's got better taste in music than you. <clears throat> you need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Oh, weird. Uh, I'm gonna have to pause real quick. No, hold on. Okay, let me know when you're at a point where... He knows he's going to be dead, some little shit has been peeking at my diary. I have diary. a point and click mode turned on, and uh, I need to turn that off. I also need to adjust my volume. Hold on, I'm reading uh, somebody's diary here. Well, I got a book about the witch trials here. I think this might be my diary. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and pause it. Okay. I think I'm also supposed to check up on the kid now, but I'm just kind of looking around. Uh, yeah, I don't... There's only like a couple of rooms up here. I don't see any. You might be waiting for me. There's a bunch of books down here about the Salem Witch Trials. Sweet. All the doors appear locked. Hey, Deb, what's up? How's it going, Budget Bill Burr? Fascination with this stuff. Yeah, I've got a uh, like a pilgrim-looking guy up here. Pilgrim. Yeah, like uh, like what they would have worn during the witch trials. Oh, I see. He's holding like a um. Bible. Uh, Megan's school record. Oh, spooked. Talk, fuck that clock. Spooked by a clock. Yeah, that's a little crazy. That's... Uh, I can't get into any fucking room up here. Yeah, I I think you're just waiting for me to get up there. I'm I'm, I'm on my way as soon as I'm. Well, do you have a key? Cause I'm everything's locked. They don't care. They're not interested. They don't see me. What is this room? Oh, I'm just dropping. To them, I'm invisible. 
that isn't right at all. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to go up the stairs. Okay, Megan's up here talking to somebody. Maybe I'll wait for you then. Yeah, I'm in a cutscene. She talking to herself. No, I get blamed Far for everything. Report. It's not fair. She's hey, talking to her doll. Megan? Oh, the doll's telling her to do something. She doesn't want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Kill them all, Not Megan. listening. Kill them all. Hey, who all. are you talking to? To someone who actually cares about me. What are you talking about? What was that? You see that? Okay, so the little girl's a witch. Oh, okay. She just fucking had a raven throw itself at the window. After I asked who she was talking hell? about. Oh, that's weird. And now she's locked me outside. Megan. Come on, come on down. Hey, come Megan! Me and Dad. Anthony, you No, there? I'm like upstairs on the balcony. Anthony! Where the oh. hell are you? I hear you yelling for me. Oh, Dad just Anthony, disappeared. where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm here. getting really pissed off! Uh oh. Uh -oh. You could be right about my family. This cut scene here. Girl. Oh. Oh, sh oh. oh, I started that pot. I knew I should have turned it off. Oh god. Tanya. What's going Tanya. on? Tanya. That little brat locked it's Tanya. me Tanya. It's fucking freezing. Oh boy. Oh Jesus. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Why'd you turn the pot on? Uh oh. Shit! Megan! You in there? Uh oh. Sprint fast. The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking <laughs> serious? Megan! What the fuck is dad doing? Passed out. Wait, I was talking to him. Oh, oh, that's that, see? Not again. <laughs> mom! I should lock mom in the bathroom. Where the hell is everybody? Anthony! Help! Jump down, bitch. Yeah, jump down. <laughs> Jesus. Hang off the edge, I'll catch your ass. Get to you. Punch through the window. Up here! What the fuck are you doing up there? I got trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony! Anthony, help! Get a fucking ladder. Kick the door down. Something. So the shovel there to get and smash the window. It's very poorly handled. <laughs> there you go, okay. <laughs> Dad, how's it going? I can't breathe. He's like, hang on, I gotta get my beer. Try it. Hit continue and we'll try it. Oh. Oh. I 
guess we'll find out what happens if I don't save anyone. Does it just keep pausing or what? No, I paused at that time. My mouse was locked at the top corner of the screen. I couldn't select other. Oh god! I was gonna help her anyway. Anthony, help! What should I do? This is still fucked. Yeah. I'll tell for anything. Okay. It's well, not that big of a deal. Yeah. I guess so. I was gonna let her burn anyway, so that's all good. They should fix their PC shit then. Get to the drain pipe and climb down! Did it fix that? Yeah. I mean, even if you fall, you're okay. Don't take the window, you're gonna go back in. Yeah, her, my other option was to open the door and go back inside. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> oh! Oh, Jesus! Uh, take the window! Take the window! Oh, God! I don't think I can. Oh, boy. Well. $30 well spent. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe you can save this guy. <laughs> nope. Oh, Jesus. Well, we can go back so you can make a decision. <laughs> no, I was going to pick you anyway. Oh, good. I think this is supposed to happen. Okay. I'm okay. Upset. Why did he run back in? I don't get it. For mom, I guess. He, I guess he didn't know that she was taking a bath, so maybe he thought he could save her. Oh. my sound hello and welcome I don't believe that we've met before have we no matter welcome to my repository no we were here like not that long I... ago <laughs> it was like a year ago the guardian of you might have forgotten wonderful stories and I have a very special tale we're the, we're the folks who killed all those people on that boat <laughs> yeah I think they made it out <laughs> 
Kind of fucked that one up. I'm really bad with the <laughs> controller, sorry. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. That is your PC port. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. Okay. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. You see, you will be determining the outcome of this tale together. What one does will often affect the other. So even though you are two people, You'll be completing the story as if you were one, if that makes any sense. As in life, the actions you take matter. They will determine how your story resolves. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the end. You've seen how the story starts? So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. Did he get a scolding after the last one? Is that but what happened? I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future. Oh, yeah, something they have these that may too. or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good So that whole family is dead. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together can for you? eternity in God's loving embrace. Oh, the boyfriend. That's the boyfriend, yeah. Yeah. I thought you were him. No. I died in a fire.
Okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay, so now we're back to the bus crash. So is that Megan on the street? On the bus? Yes. Okay. Overbearing. <laughs> Perfect. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. You're Daniel. Ah! Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <laughs> Me. Maybe the cops, someone like that. I'm uh, Taylor. Damn, I oh. never have thought of that. Oh, oh somebody's I fucking professor. dead down here. You're here. I'm trying to call a cop. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? So there's an old lady down here whose like back is broken. Yeah, the bus oh, crashed. No. We're okay though, just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there too. Give yourself some time. Ah. Uh. Where's my phone? Oof. She does not like the professor. I think she was the one arguing with the professor. This old lady. Oh, Angela? Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah uh, me and Angela are down here. We're stuck. Oh, okay, so you're Daniel. Yes. Hey. I thought you told me I was Daniel. Anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? He's nope. probably dead. No sign of him. Weird, he isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. Oh, you guys are dead. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Wh who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. <laughs> Fish down here talking about how she's gonna sue. Okay, so that Andrew trail, the others are on, will come out down the road. has some we'll sort of amnesia and he's dreaming about uh, the people who died in the farm. Well he is that he is Anthony or We whatever. should talk this through. Why no, leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here. Well, I know, but it's the same actor. Our best move uh, is to okay. get to the others. He's Sid from Toy Story. So okay. It's the same kid. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. He could just as easily have banged his head and walked off the other way. Okay, you can double Fine. double click to move you can faster. Stay right here. I'll go myself. Hey, professor. Oh, he is a professor, professor right? I'm still fuzzy. Can we stick together? I don't want to Wait on my own. I guess he's right. We should all stick together. I got no signal either. Must be some kind of black spot. Or you didn't pay your last bill. You get that during the crash? Ugh, guess so.
crawled up the professor's ass. I think you should show him a little more respect. He thinks he's smarter than us, but book smart is no good out here. He's all up himself, acting like the big man on campus. Okay, we're uh, just walking down the street. We're, we just crossed a puddle. This lady had a fucking heart attack about it. <laughs> okay, someone uh, crossed out the little and little hope and wrote abandon. Abandon hope. You know this place? Little hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know little hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. <sighs> history for you two is remembering the last burger you ate. Okay, professor's kind of a douche. Yeah, so is this lady. She fucking sucks. <laughs> Daniel and Angela should be here soon. There's a chain around the gate. Now what do we do? Oh. Hey, what's up? Good to see you two. Finally. Everything okay? Yeah, she was, sure. she was saying we she did not like the, the professor. You sure as hell took yeah. your own She called him a hot room. shot very sarcastically. <laughs> I okay, bet you she's were. Like... This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Great job, you two. Plan now. I already said I want to wait at the bus for help, not head into town like John wants. And we've already concluded this conversation. Not with everyone here, we didn't. We should vote on it. No need for a vote. Decisions made. Just because you're a professor, you don't get to call the shots. Like We're all adults here. Some of us are more adult than others. I'm sorry, but we really don't have time to be arguing. You'll stay here with me, won't you? <laughs> uh... Looks like he ain't so keen <laughs> after all. If you got something to say to me, spit it out. Are you the old lady? Typical of your type to get your boyfriend yeah, to fight like... your battles for you. <laughs> I'm a old wiener. You're kidding. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? No oh boy. <laughs> you take yourself far too seriously. Lord knows why. <coughs> oh, 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 Jesus. Yeah, she was like dying on the ground. Go ahead and choke. Whoa. All just right. Making casual observations here. Nothing <laughs> wrong with that. Apart from it being Jesus. real creepy, so stop. We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? I'm still not sure heading into town is such a great idea. Why not? I don't understand. the bus while you all do whatever you have to. You want to come along and wait with me? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. I didn't make that choice. How about you? You want to head back to the bus with me? Thing is, I think going into town is probably our best shot at finding help okay so i'm fine come on taylor don't check out on us it's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone come with us don't worry about me i'll flag down the first car i see and come get you all real soon come with us are you kidding me i'm not going anywhere with you oh boy <laughs> no one ever saw taylor ever again what? Uh-huh. So you thought better of going it alone then. 
Why'd you come back? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Lost in a world of her own. <laughs> what the hell are you playing at? You going or not? Hey, wait. What are you doing? Taylor. Look out. What the? What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not <laughs> coming back. I walk straight out every time. It's like, I don't know. I can't fucking leave or something. Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that And way. that's how I tricked them into going back to the bus. I want bus. everyone to stay real close. <laughs> Smack. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> You're going back to town. I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. It's not possible. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped! We can't leave here! Now okay. what do we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. Should've stayed at the front. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Mm. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this. Just it's like, like a you weird echo and the here. rest of us. Yeah, I thought maybe it was my game, but I think it's intentional. Yeah, I think so too. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. I don't like this girl. Like I don't like anybody. We're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. Andrew seems all right. We'll figure a yeah, way. Yeah, Andrew and Daniel are all right. Someone else yeah. thinks they can do a better job. Step right up. Maybe, Maybe it isn't real. real. We have to get out of here. Right I need to think straight. Right football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. I kind of love it. Let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There's nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Where the fuck are you Come gonna on. go? You can't go Let's back. Go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. How'd you get that bruise? <sighs> no biggie. Must have got it when the bus crashed. She doesn't know. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. There's literally a building right here. Oh god! I don't like it's the Salem. Look place at all. It's a cat. It's the cat from Sabrina. Hey, are you coming? Coming, goddamn. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. How about you knock first? There's go obviously ahead. somebody in there. We'll be right behind you. <laughs> Why aren't we going with those guys? I know something is up with you. You said I wasn't your boyfriend. Like, what a joke idea that is. Okay. <laughs> Are you for oh, real? Boy. Suck it, Our bus gets totaled, we get lost in fog, and your headline is some oh, dumbass you're label? You're admitting boyfriend is not a label that you use for me. So what the fuck am I then? What's up? We don't need a label, do we? Come on. So what exactly are we then? 
I don't know what we are yet. I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I'm not sure. I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. Fucking schmizzing stuff over with Daniel. Are you guys Standing done? here all night, or are we going inside? This kid's having fucking flashbacks. Oh boy. He's mad because I said we weren't a couple. I told the uh, old lady that I didn't know who she was talking about. I don't know who you were. Okay. That's not great. I say we sacrificed the professor first. <laughs> I ain't seen no one around this town about 30 years. Ever since that family burnt up in the fire. It's the boyfriend. Oh, is it? I think so. Cool. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? Yeah, that's funny. What is? Yeah, it kind of looks like him. But, but older, obviously. I guess they didn't say... Uh, Pretty weird. What year? Yeah, it the, was a the, thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping cool us one. from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. Let's take a look around. Maybe find a phone or something. Yeah? Come look at this. Come on. How about a game? Seriously? You want to throw darts? Don't be like that. Ten bucks. Says you can't hit the bullseye. You and your cash are about to part ways. Sounds like fighting talk to me. <laughs> Warm up with an easier shot. Go for... single 20. Beginner's luck. Try for double seven. The place seems completely deserted. Little hope fills the <sighs> At least my eyesight seems okay. And that box Great shooting. Go for the bullseye with your last dart. We don't all go with it. <sighs> okay. You got the walk to back up the talk. This phone. Kind of weird, right? Stuck her with these guys because of that fog. How do you feel about all this shit? What is this guy's problem? I don't really know. We're not having a great night, that's for sure. But I guess it could have been worse. No names. Let's look around. But some around here could do with being taken down a notch or two. What's on your mind? Here you go. They think I'm an idiot. No one believed me about the fog. Then, hey, presto. They get lost too, and it's like, oh, maybe Taylor was right after all. Maybe try to understand it's not just you. Nobody's feeling that great right now. I thought you were with me on this. Let's go and check in with the others. <laughs> These uh, people are all unbearable. He's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Did you just pull me into a darts game? I was, I was yeah, looking I around. Know. I think Stay. Did. Play a little, no problem. I was examining the phone. I'm gonna take a look around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm taking a look around. Oh, there's a phone down the hallway. This place is a bust. Oh, shit, there's okay. nothing for us here. For once I agree. The sooner we're gone from this dreadful place, the better. Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for the triple numbers. 20. Oh, found a secret. I could care less about ancient history. Talk about astrology. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. 
You look at all this old newspaper and all that. I didn't get a look at anything. That is one hell of I literally a walked down the hallway and tried to examine Christ. the phone, and then you pulled me into the darts game. Get back to why we came so, I, I did better than you, apparently. Oh, I'm sure you did. Uh, <laughs> there's a newspaper here from the 70s. Okay, so that's probably about one. Okay, I'm looking at the phone now. Don't fucking play any more darts. Holy shit. Would really like to leave this place now. It's an old war photo from the 1917. Yeah, it tells me when you find stuff. For know. some reason, she's really creeped out by it. I don't know. It's not that weird. Oh, that's the exit. I don't want to leave. Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Oh, booze gone in my head. You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Can you help us or not? Anything you can do to help us. Greatly appreciate it. There's no goddamn us. No doubt, though. No, I already checked it. Search the bar. Okay. Mine's dead. I could use a shot of that right about now. I really gotta cut down on the booze. We all drink too much from time to time. You should leave me. Now what? Can't I gotta get some peace around here? Phone's dead, no tone, nothing. Phone sure seems like it's broken. I already told you it was dead. What's with these numbers over here? I don't know, I flipped it over, it's like an astrology. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Nothing's okay. This flyer is from nineteen seventy as well. Escape what? Yeah. The fog? Alright, that's boogie. Yeah. Let's continue on into town. Let's get out of here and oh. You all hear that? I definitely heard something. It's like a church bell. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside. Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. No, I don't think we will. Where are you going? He's gonna go play darts. Uh, oh wow, you had three balls out? Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure there was something off. He can probably him. still hear you. I come to Creepy yeah. Central just to get a <laughs> top up. What does that mean? Oh, good, I'm the same one. Hmm? I'm Andrew. Yeah, I'm Angela. Make sure you double click so you walk a little faster. Yeah. We're still fucking way ahead of me. Yeah, I'm behind you. Oh, there's something to look at over there. Oh boy. What's up? It's a fucking effigy. Oh Jesus. Good luck. Look at that. <laughs> Bye. Oh Can shit. You two make an effort to keep up. 
Oh god, the camera angle. <laughs> oh, Why? <God>. Why? <laughs> oh my god. Bruh. This is Resident Evil 6? What the fuck? Angela? Andrew? Where are you? We're here! I can't so fucking F is you, you back here, bro? Oh, there she is. Was her? I yeah, I just seen a little girl. Can you come over? Uh oh. What is it? I just saw someone out in the woods. Okay, I guess you're still a little jumpy. I'm not buying. What I saw out there was a child. No, what I'm would a kid it. be doing out here in the middle of the night? I have no idea. Maybe you should go and ask. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not bad. I don't see anyone out there. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> you two. Oh. You need to stick close. Oh, God. Believe me now, motherfucker. Both of us get Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Okay. Well, let's and get the fuck out, out of here. here. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I got to stick close to you. Hurry up. Hey, wait for us. Oh, God. Is right. she Go to you? quick. I did. What is that? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Let's take a look at this. Excuse Come me. Take a look at this. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> what is it? Oh, I didn't get to see what that was. What was I didn't it? get to either. Oh, there you go. Okay. Cool. Oh, it's a little doll. Cut, I think. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, it's the doll. Put no, that down. No, it's not. It's a different doll. This is a fucking voodoo doll. I didn't see you looking at it. Oh. Huh? I'm not sure. Called a poppet. Let me take a closer look. There was like a little symbol when I flipped it around. Flip it forward like slowly. Oh! Uh-oh. What is your name, sir? Uh-oh. Um, Andrew? And your name, lady? Angela. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. Oh boy. Uh. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Nope. <laughs> come play. Good. Yeah, let's dance around the fire. Okay, huh? Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I say you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Uh-oh. <sighs> Not the Reverend. Amen. Amen. Come back here. There's someone else out here. By the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? This place is all wrong. Whatever happened here, it's over now. A little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. 
We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Coming around on Angela. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary. Oh. Did she want to hurt you? Got the ghost burn. No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Yeah, like where else are we gonna go? I don't know why that girl keeps like Let's thinking it's another here. option. Yeah. <laughs> In the middle of the road. Escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? Yeah, we get it. Jesus. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, Spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. What? <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps... He represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Hmm. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You helped make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful. More than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. 